Um, exactly. Let's move on. Now, I, I was quite surprised by this because a supermassive black hole, Brad, has been found nibbling away on a star. Uh, how does that happen? Yeah, this was kind of a surprise. So supermassive black holes, they swallow in gas and stars all the time. And we see these. We often call these tidal disruption events. Normally, when it eats the star, it eats it all at once. Um, the star gets too close. The gravity of that black hole rips apart the star. And that gas swirls around in this disk that you're kind of seeing here. In this case, what appears to have happened is this star is in a very weird orbit where it gets close but not close enough so it's all eaten. So it kind of a little bit is lost and then it comes back and a little bit is lost and it comes back and a little bit is lost. It's ended up in a very peculiar orbit where not all of the star has been eaten, but only little bits have been eaten at a time. Now we've never seen anything like this. In order for that orbit, for that way that star to come in with gravity to come in is quite unique. So it's telling us a lot about that possibility of how indeed stars and other gas falls into a black hole because it's a huge process in our universe that is quite critical to understanding how stars and galaxies and things like that evolve, and also just seeing the nature of how these supermassive black holes live. Well, we've gone from nibbling away on a star to uh, our next topic, with black holes have been burping up stars that they destroyed years <laughs> earlier. It's like a feeding festival. How, how and why does this happen, Brad? <laughs> so, yeah, so as these black holes swallow these stars, not all of the star falls into the black hole. So the black hole is a spinning object. It is a three-dimensional object. It's a ball spinning around. Sometimes as the star falls in, it kind of gets bounced and shot out in these huge jets, as you're seeing here, um, kind of perpendicular to where the black hole's spinning. So normally we see this happen all at once. The star falls in, the, most of the star gets ripped apart, that stuff falls into the black hole, but a little bit doesn't quite make it and get shot out in these huge jets. In this case, though, there was a huge delay that this process happened, the star got ripped apart, but then years later, periodically, this stuff got burped out. And again, so it's telling us a lot about exactly how that gas and star swirls around, how it exactly falls in or not falls into the black hole. It is not just this case if it gets near it, everything gets sucked in. There's a lot of subtleties in the process of just how this black hole operates. So really cool understanding in these subtleties and the different nature of how these black holes live their secret monster lives, whether they're nibbling or burping. <laughs> well, there you go. Gosh, you just never know what might be going on uh, out in that universe. Brad Tucker, always good to speak with you. Thank you so much for joining us as always. Thanks.